everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome to A Proverbs Home. This is going to be a quick video. I wanted to share something with you. And that's this Crafter Square Diamond Painting Sheet. Now, this is something that it's right here. It comes like this. This is the package that it comes in. And the ones that I saw, they had a toucan bird. And they had this one with the watering can. And they had, I think, one that had like a tiger or a lion or something. And I seen some videos on this, a couple of videos. Now, some people do amazing diamond art. Amazing. And I wanted to give it a try. I wanted to give it a try. I saw this at the Dollar Tree when I was in there. Shopping is when I saw this. And I'm like, I'm going to try that. The weather's cold. You know, we're home in the evening. It's something nice to do while you're watching a TV show or you're just being very comfortable. Just something nice to kind of enjoy and have fun with. So this one is for my sister. So I don't want to take it out the package. I'm going to be sending this to her. But I'm going to show you the one that I did. This is the one I made. And I was watching a TV show and I made this one. I was watching the TV show. Now this is my first time trying this. Okay, so I'm going to show you. It looks like this on the paper. And I'm going to keep this actually, these pictures from my journaling because they're so adorable. I'm going to put them in my journal. And it's like a color by number. This was invented in 2000. In the year 2000 is when they started inventing these. So what they did, they did a cross between cross stitching and color by number painting. And they kind of put them together. And this is called diamond painting. Now, of course, it's not real diamonds. They're little gems. And I'm going to show you what they look like. Because I made the research. I looked it up. I, I like to learn about things before I get into them. comes with this little tray. And this is where you put all the little gems in. And it, the packets have different colors. So, like, let's say number three was pink. Okay, so there's a bunch of gems in number three. Then you go on to the canvas and you look for the number three and that's where you're going to put the gem so all those tiny little gems you see i put those here every single little number so it went from one through six and then this here i think the whole pack here this was number one and then five and six was up here somewhere then they had number four was up here too and down here and then it just shines. It's so pretty, all those little gems. So yes, I made this and it was so much fun. So I got one for my mom and I'm not gonna show the one for my mom because my mom watches my videos consistently. Hi mom, if you're watching, I love you. So I don't wanna show the one I'm gonna send her because I already told her I'm sending it to her and it's gonna be fun. So I did get one for my mom and then my sister, I got her this one. So I'm gonna send this one to my sister. So my mom said, you surprised me. So the one I got her, I know she's really going to like. Once I sent it, then I'll show you which one I got my mom. So this is just so cute. It was so much fun. It can be a little tedious. You know, if you look really close, I did come out the line a little bit. But you still can't tell. I just pushed it back. Now it comes with this spool. This is the spool it comes with. And if you look at it a little bit, it does remind me a little bit of cross stitching. And it comes with this wax. And so you can just take this spool and you put it to the wax like that. Poke it in the wax and the wax goes on the spool. Goes on there. And then the little gems are in here. You got to shake the gems because the round top of the gem has to be up. So the gems will come up. And then you just grab them and you put them down on the number. There's very simple, not anything really complicated, but there are some people that do this professionally and they do a wonderful job. You may want to, if you want to kind of get your hands wet at this and trying this, and this is beautiful for a Proverbs home, really beautiful to put up in your home and put up on the wall. Like I said, you can research, look at Timu and other places where, you know, they may have these and you could try different ones, but I just think it's really pretty. I really enjoy making this and I just wanted to share it with you. Everybody have a wonderful evening and I'll talk to everyone soon. Bye.